Well, folks, I'm in the passenger seat again, so obviously I've had either too much to drink or it's time for another Red Beard Food Reviews Mobile Edition. Today, we've stopped at a little roadside hot dog stand in the beautiful town of Buttsville, New Jersey. That's the name. I didn't make that up. It's Buttsville, New Jersey. Look it up. We're at a place called Hot Dog Johnny's, which has been around for quite a long time, a lot longer than myself, and they have some delectable hot dogs and that's pretty much the only thing they have on the menu known for a lot of fresh buttermilk which on a hot day just whatever and they're known for good birch beer so today we're going to be trying some hot dogs some french fries some birch beer and cold buttermilk is, it, is that like a thing well those are the hot dogs as you can tell by the hot dog shape we got an order of fries, a couple orders of fresh birch beer, frosted birch beer, and cold buttermilk, whatever the hell that means. Hot Dog Johnny's has been in business since 1944, but what better way to end World War II than opening up a hot dog stand? If that doesn't say America, hell, I don't know what does. Hot Dog Johnny's is on Route 46 in Buttsville, New Jersey, but I have seen the GPS say Belvedere, New Jersey, so I don't know what that's about. Uh, it is a little roadside stand, so I don't know if you can hear the Flowmaster mufflers in the background, but a whole bunch of muscle cars just pulled in. And if that don't say America, I don't know what does either. Hi, you've entered the lounge with J.R. Warnett. As you can see, I'm lounging. Plenty of room here in the old F-150. Let's go in for a French fry and see what happens. Good looking fry. They said they're fried in peanut oil. I think the hot dogs are fried in peanut oil as well. It's a typical french fry. Salty, crunchy, fresh out the fryer. Hashtag money shot. Yep, there it is. You got a nice little slice of pickle. Raw onions, which are my nemesis, but I don't care. And mustard. That's the way they have it here. It's called the Hot Dog Johnny. That's a good hot dog. That is a good hot dog. Nice little piece of pickle on top. Mustard. No ketchup on the hot dog. I don't know if you can notice that. Please don't put ketchup on your hot dogs. That's un-American. The buns are nice and soft. Fresh. Uh, I'm not sure what type of hot dog this is. I don't know if they make them specifically for hot dog Johnny's, but I'm sure they go through thousands of them a week, so they probably have a, a special hookup. Onions add a little good goodness to it. That's just that's just the way it is. I'm not really a fan, but you got to do the hot dog challenge. Eat, eat it the way it is. Nothing says America like frosted birch beer. Let's go in. If you ever have root beer or birch beer, you know that you feel that little bit of tingle in the back. Yeah, that's a good birch beer. Solid birch beer. If you have the birch beer here, they let you have the mugs, but you're not allowed to take the mug in your vehicle. Because I'm sure they're, they've probably lost hundreds of mugs over the year. People are saying, I want a hot dog Johnny mug, I'm going to take it home. So if you want it to go, styrofoam it is. Now it's time to have some fresh cold buttermilk. And I've never had buttermilk before, so this is gonna be a first for both of us. I don't know how this goes with hot dogs, but we're, we're going in. Why? Weird. I can taste the butter and the milk. You ever have sour cream in the tub and you get that little bit of liquid on top Imagine that in 16 ounces, ice cold. It's delicious. This is not a milkshake. I repeat, this is not a milkshake. This is savory. This is exactly what it's, it, it, what I said before. It, it tastes like cold sour cream liquid. I guess it goes with hot dogs. Back in 1944 when they first opened this place, this was a big thing, but people come here 
just for fresh buttermilk because I guess you can't get it anywhere else. It's different. Now it's time for the wrap up and rating of Hot Dog Johnny's on Route 46 in Buttsville, New Jersey. Overall vibe is old school Americana. Uh, there's nothing like a hot dog and hamburger stand from the 40s and 50s. It brings back the old rat rods, the old racers. And I'm sure during a non-pandemic era, this is the place to be on a Saturday or Sunday night. They're open from 9 a.m. till 9.30 p.m. most days. And there's a lot of things to do in the area. They have the Pequest Trout Hatchery here, which is a beautiful, fun thing to do. You can go see how little baby trout and fishes are born. They have the Voorhees Recreational Area, Spruce Run, State Park. Uh, Delaware Water Gap is about 15 miles away if you're into that sort of thing. There are plenty of things to do around here other than eat hot dogs and sip on some cold buttermilk. Um, taste and flavor, it's a, it's, a, it's a decent hot dog. Uh, value for your money, we did pretty good today. We got four hot dogs, french fries, two birch beers, and a cold buttermilk for under $16. So you can't beat that with a stick. Overall, I'm gonna have to give Hot Dog Johnny's a four out of five red beards. Uh, it's a hot dog joint, so you're not gonna come here expecting to get sushi or ice cream. Even though they do have milkshakes and cold, cold buttermilk. Well, that about does it for another edition of Red Beard Food Reviews Mobile Edition. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on the Twitter, you can find me on the YouTube, which you're currently watching this on. Stay safe out there. If you have to come to a hot dog truck, get the buttermilk, because it's, it's an experience you will not forget. Bye.